All right, guys. So I know right now there's a lot of uncertainty and fear in the air going on with this whole coronavirus epidemic. Now, I know it might feel like that the entire world is collapsing on you and that there's no end in sight. But the reality is that's not the case at all. In fact, there have been plenty of moments like this in your life where it kind of feels like there's a lot of negative things pulling you down and that there's not many uh, positive things happening that are bringing you up or that you're looking forward to. Now, maybe this happened when you were going through a breakup, you know? You're probably in that down spiral period where you were sad, you are depressed, you had all these negative thoughts. And to you, nothing else in the world mattered. It just felt like you were you're completely heartbroken and that your life was going down. But look at you now. You ended up just fine. And not only that, you, were, you probably came out of it stronger and tougher than before. Now, with that being said, I want to ask you a question. What are you getting by living in fear during this time? Is it helping you get the life you want? Is it helping you improve yourself? The answer is no, of course not. This fear is not serving you. So let me ask you another question. Why not shift your perspective and use this time for improvement? Use this time to fortify your mind into a weapon as powerful as a nuclear bomb. Use this time to form the habits that will accelerate your life. Now, look, most of you guys know, but some of you might not know that about three years ago, I was stabbed in the throat, chest, and arm. You can see one of the scars right here, one right here. My lung was punctured right there. Basically, I'm extremely grateful that I'm alive. I should be dead. This one went halfway through my throat. This one punctured my lung. And I woke up seven days later from an induced coma. I couldn't use my, lo uh, my legs. I couldn't talk. I was living off tubes. I had tubes like up here, here, every single place possible. I had low energy. Um, like seriously, getting, or I can't even finish eating a meal because I would get so tired that I would have to stop and nap halfway through. Uh, it took me weeks to learn how to walk again and then of course run and build up that strength. But the worst part was what happened to me mentally. I felt like I lost my purpose in life. I felt like there's nothing good for me in the future. And I was kind of stuck in a place where I just didn't feel good about who I was becoming and where my life was going. And after I got released from the hospital, I was in a situation that's similar to this. I was stuck in a house for months, just like we are with this quarantine. I couldn't get up, I couldn't go drive, I couldn't do anything. I was actually in a worse place than most of us are right now. And the moral of the story here is that I could have spent time loathing and fear and pity for myself. But I, I, I had this moment and I had this epiphany where I kind of just thought to myself, what good comes from thinking negative in this situation? Is it going to help me improve my life? And the answer was no. So what I decided to do was use that time where I was stuck in this house to start building the habits that are going to get me to the life that I want. I use that time to start fortifying my mind because the reality is what you achieve in life comes down to your mind, you know? It's how you choose to perceive events, how you choose to react to those events that really shape you in your life. Now, after months of working on myself, after months of forming habits and strengthening my mind, I came out more confident, strong, and happier than ever. And not only that, I became a high performer, which led me to getting the body I want to getting the energy, the mental clarity I want through my diet and nutrition. And most importantly, it got me to the point where I am right now, where I'm speaking in front of you right now with my dream job. My dream job is to help people feel, look, and think better than they ever have. And I have all of this because I choose to use that time where I was stuck at home and couldn't leave to better myself, to make sure that my mind is a powerhouse. Now, if I had chosen to let this fear override me, like a lot of people are doing with this quarantine, I'd probably still be broken and stuck in a life where I'm not confident, where I'm not happy with who I am, where I'm not happy with where my life is going. Now, I had two paths right there. I could have let my life depreciate and kept going with this negativity and fear, or I could have chosen that second path, that path where I work on myself, 
that path where I improve so that I become the person that will achieve the goals that I want in life. And just like how I had those two options, you have the same two options in front of you right now. You can do what most people are doing, live in fear during this time, let this time go to waste, playing video games, watching Netflix, TV, doing whatever you want just to kill the time. Or you can become a conqueror and start forming the habits that will take you to where you want. Take your life to where you want it to be. Now, I'm going to ask you one more question. How are you going to feel about yourself in three months from now if you let this time pass you by? If you let this time go to waste, you're going to come out of this quarantine and you're going to be kind of stuck. You're going to have terrible habits. You're not going to feel, look, or think amazing. Well, you could have used this time to progress your life. So I hope you choose that second option to improve your life and improve yourself. Now, if that is you and you are that ambitious guy that wants to take your life to the next level and wants to feel, look, and think better than you ever have, then I have some good news. You see, I put together a three-step system. It's the same system I used when I was on the brink of death that got me to where I am now. I have the confidence I want. I feel amazing physically and mentally, and I look better than I ever have. It's the same system that got me from the brink of death to where I am now, living a life full of passion, and it can do the same for you. So if you want to use this time to improve yourself and become a conqueror, click the link around this video.